Aloha everybody, this is Chris. I'm back again with another WordPress tutorial. Today I want to show you how to change this WordPress logo that is on your log login screen. So if you go to your site and you go to your login screen, it has this WordPress logo. Second thing it also does is it directs the user if they click on it to WordPress.org. So let's change that as well, all right? So I'm gonna show you just how easy it is. You can go to the codex for WordPress, which is at codex.wordpress.org forward slash customizing the login form. All right, so you're gonna go to this address and it's gonna show you here how to customize the login form for WordPress. So I'm gonna show you the quick way to do it. You can come here and learn things about how to log in, learn about the login form, show you what I'm gonna, you can read more about what I'm gonna show you and then you can read more about customizing your login screen uh, even further and I'm going to touch on some of these things later on in other videos But today I just want to show you how to change this change this logo and have it direct to your the home page of your website All right, so um Now uh, one thing I do want to mention is that I am following best practices when it comes to WordPress themes and so I am NOT Editing 2015 theme itself. I am editing my 2015 child theme, which is what's running on my website Okay, so the changes that I'm making here Overrun the parent theme, but they do not get deleted when I update my 2015 Parent theme. okay, so more on that in other videos. I'll have links to uh, Some of the videos that I might have or will be making in the future about child themes And so so here we go. So I have my functions PHP file already built and I have a directory for images, okay? And in there I have my site-login-logo.png and I'll show you in a minute why I named it that. This is an 80 by, 80 by 80 image. So you can come in here, learn about the login screen. You could read what I'm gonna do here. So it's telling you you could get plugins for this, but I don't agree with using plugins for something simple like this. Or you could edit your WordPress things function PHP, which is what we are gonna do. So you can come in here and read about how it works and what we're going to do basically is go ahead and just grab this code here that it says to put into your functions PHP file, functions.php file, okay? And come in here and make some room, paste that guy in there. And so basically what we're doing here is we're creating a new function, it's called my login logo, and we're going to be adding styles to this element right here. Okay? And what we're going to do, what that style is going to do is going to replace this image with an image in the images directory and site login logo png okay, it's gonna be looking for that image and that's why i named my image that so you can name your image anything you want you can name your image anything you want and then you would change this name here accordingly all right and then it also gives it this padding of 30 pixels closes the style, closes the PHP function that we created, and then it's gonna add an action which which says to uh, to run your my login logo. Okay, so it's pretty simple. We're gonna press save, and we're gonna go back to our login screen right here and press refresh, and there you go. It loads up my image. Simple. Okay, so secondly, we, we want it to link to our own website, and WordPress has made that easy for us. You can read here about your logo needing to be 80 by 80 and how you can change that. And then you could also read that you could change the link. All right, so what we're gonna do, it's really simple. We're gonna take this code here, copy it. Also put it in our functions PHP right afterwards. We're gonna create a new function here. We're gonna call that function and it's gonna take us to my login logo URL title, okay? It's gonna take us, it's gonna take us to, I mean, I'm sorry. It's gonna take us to your, your site name and info, all right? It can take us to that that data that we have in our in our WordPress already. So we come in here, we refreshed our page. Now you can see down here when I hover on my logo, it's gonna take me to my website home screen. And it's that simple. So that way if someone's coming in, if you're coming in or uh, one of your employees or site admins are coming in and they're having issues and for some reason they need to go to your home screen, they can go to your home screen. It's a great way for to get your extra branding across and just make customize the login experience for your users and we'll get more into how to um, customize this whole screen here later so if you have any tips leave them below I'm sure some people are more than happy to hear more about customizing your login screen like this video if you like it subscribe for more videos and I'll catch you next time Aloha